Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In today's episode, we're going to be modeling this castle lock nut. Let's hop right to it. First things first, let's start out by creating a new component. We'll just call it lock nut. Let's start out with a sketch. I'm going to put it on the top plane. We're going to use a circumscribed polygon. Going to give it a vertical constraint. And we're going to make both sides dimension to be 22 millimeters. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit the E for extrude. And we're going to make this about 11 millimeters thickness. Okay. I'm going to create a sketch on the top face. I'm going to draw two circles. First circle we're going to draw, we're going to make a tangent to this line. Second center diameter circle we're going to draw, we're going to make 14 millimeters in diameter. Okay. Finish the sketch. Go ahead and use the extrude tool. Click the inside profile, click the bottom, click OK. All right. Now let's go ahead and bring back that previous sketch because we want to use this profile. Use the extrude tool again, select the inside. At the bottom, let's go ahead and select intersect. It's going to be one side. Distance, we're going to make this negative 16 millimeters. Oops. And then we're going to make the taper angle 55 degrees. Click OK. Okie dokie. We can go ahead and turn off that sketch. Next, what we want to do is create a mid plane. So we'll select this face this face click OK we got a plane that's directly in the center let's go ahead and let's use the mirror command mirror not hole I'm going to select features I want to select this feature right here the extrusion we did mirror plane is going to be this face I mean this plane right here I want to select the tie identical Click OK. We can go ahead and turn off the construction plane. Alrighty. So next thing we want to do on this top face right here is we want to extrude it. So we're going to use the extrude tool. Select this top face. We're going to extrude it about five millimeters. Click OK. Let's go ahead and use the thread command. We'll give it some threads. Select the inside. We want it to be modeled. We don't want the full length, and these are the dimensions as follows. So for the length, we want it to be 15.5. It's going to be 14 millimeters. And we're going to make this M14.1.5. And click OK. Alrighty. We're going to reverse it to the other side. We're going to give it a chamfer of about one millimeter. Click OK. Next, I'm going to go ahead and create a sketch on this plane right here. Let's go ahead and start out with a line, make it a construction line. Set out the center where the triangle actually uh, shows up. I'm going to drag it down to this point. Let's end it. Let's go ahead and reselect that line because we want to make it a construction line. Okay. I'm going to use a two point rectangle from this point 
to that point. Okay. Let's go ahead and give it a dimension of 3.5 millimeters. We want it to be symmetric. So to do that, we'll collect, hit the selection of the symmetry constraint, select this side, this side, and then select the center construction line. And now it's fully centered. Next, let's go ahead and add some fillets. This side and that side. Okay. All right. Click OK or hit enter. So I say now what we want to do, because it's not fully defined anymore, we want to use the collinear constraint, select the bottom line and select the line here. And now it's fully defined again. All right. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. We use the extrude tool. Select one side. Distance we're going to make all. And you click OK. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and use the circular pattern tool. We're going to select the feature we just uh, created. The axis is going to be the Z axis, the center blue line right there. We want the quantity to be six. Click OK. All right. There you have it. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed this brief tutorial series. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.